You shall taunt us no longer, goddamn clams. Phallic bracelets. Because, why not? Also, she'll get the top. Yay, or, or Melia does. And I believe, if memory serves, that is the final aspect of Melia's... Resort? Resort where? No, what a beautiful swan she is. At least I'm going to assume that's what it is. <laughs> pure, pure, pure white and gold. That's nice. Yeah. Also the shimmery effect. Mm -hmm. Because, because the lighting engine is so good. <laughs> Melia is pure gold. <laughs> I guess you say I guess you say Maria truly is a golden girl. <laughs> On that note and crappy pun, hey everyone, what is up and welcome back to Xenoblade Chronicles Future Connected. In the last episode, we pretty much went around Grandel a lot of Grandel and got a lot of stuff done regarding side quests, uh, collectibles, and something sweet. If you want ridiculous, go watch last episode. I would highly recommend that. Mm -hmm. But in this case, but now in this, in this episode, as Kino sits on the fence, <laughs> we are gonna go and well help out help out the kids in which we helped out last time. While Kino gets stuck in the background. Ah, oh, Miss Melia. Hmm, something's the matter, or do you have business with me? I just got this. I was asked to please give it to Miss Melia, so here it's for you. Huh? Some kind of message? <laughs> Impossible. What is it? What is it? I'm sorry, I'm afraid I've quite forgotten my manners. Thank you for delivering the note. I hereby confirm its receipt. Now, if you would be so kind to excuse me, it seems there's somewhere I must go at my earliest convenience. We gotta go to Companion's Cape and we get a lot of unique things from Elia. Letter from Elia. A letter sent by Melia by someone who bears a strong connection to her. Could oh. be Tyrea, maybe? Oh. Well, I'm thinking it could be me me many people, but you know what? I'm all already I'm hooked. And in case any and in, in case anyone is watching for this series for the first time, this is a blind playthrough, so we don't know what's gonna happen. I'm gonna keep my expectations low because who knows what's going on to happen. But hey, I'm looking forward. I'm looking forward to seeing it. It's a bright, beautiful day, and hopefully we we'll get a bright, be beautiful ending. I will say, the side quests in which we've got um, recently, they've been uh, peaking. Yeah, they have. I really like it. And we see someone at the very end. Let's see who, who it is. Uh-oh. Algar. I've been expecting you. I was quite certain you were responsible by the invitation. And he, and here you are. Do not feel too pleased with yourself. I said I would spare you, but the offer was only for good for one transgression. That right, Creepy Birdman ought to know when to quit. This time we smack Creepy Birdman so hard, go up in poop of feathers. I may regret asking this, but what is your goal here? I doubt you would have gone to all this trouble to stage a teary reconciliation. You are not fit to rule this new age. I beg your pardon. The holy con, her for the holy calming lead blood runs in your veins. Complicity with the pure bloods marks you as naught, but a filthy traitor. But not me. I will overthrow the pure bloods and the accursed pass alongside it. I am the one suited to rule the Hyentia. After all this time, you're still clinging to your decisions. <laughs> I will say it as many times as it will take. I will rule this brave new world. My coming lead blood will be a paramount. And you will be dirt beneath my souls. Galgar, more than anything, I find you pitiable. Melia, don't un don't un underestimate him. I know, very well. Let us end it. Can I say, I was kind of expecting him to be an Alchemoth. <laughs> or 
at least blocking our way. Yeah. This seems very out of place if I were to if I were to be honest. As you said, I was thinking maybe it's Tyrea, maybe maybe it was one of the gods of Melia that we didn't see fall. But yeah, I'm not at all going going to snuff at snuff at uh, well the music and and exclusive side quests for sure. Yeah. Oh no! It just is very weird to see 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 Gelgar be used. So, I guess I guess I guess in the side quest. Mm-hmm. That, that was me. I thought it'd be story based. Yeah. Like like I said, I thought he'd be the one blocking Alkmoff, saying, "No, you shall not pass. It is I who take on the Fog King, and Alkmoff is my place to rule." But it is very weird to see. However. With a lot of things that we've talked about compar uh, comparing this game to the original, let's face it, this guy is Mumcar. Yeah. I am evil for the sake of being evil because I just don't like you what you believe in. Although, to be fair, I think Mumcar was very effective because of how he was introduced in the story and how he was a, a shadow that lo loomed, o lo uh, loomed over at the, fir at the first half of the game. It worked, but oh well. Anyway, at least, at least, at least we make good. Why? Why? Truth! Justice is on my side! The mingled blood was destined to rule! You need to break free from the past. How? How dare you? You are so possessed by the matter of bloodlines that you use them as a sole determinant of good and evil. Just like those pure bloods whom you deport, purport to despise once did. No. You're wrong! I'm not. I didn't! I am nothing like them. I am... I... Galgar, my countryman thought, though you may be, your deeds in this land cannot be forgiven. You presume to judge me, child. Furthermore, you merit punishment, and yet I do not feel fit to mete it out. Where is this going? The pain you suffer for your mixed blood may be past, but the responsibility for it lay in part with the Imperial family. I feel that you should be afforded some consideration and recognition of that fact. It is all over, Galgar. Mend your ways and seek a new path of life while you still have a life to live. <laughs> meh meh? What? Kalgar? That wretch. Was this always the end he was destined to meet? Or was it the only end he imagined remaining open to him? Melia... It wasn't your fault. Let us away, friends. Our work is still far from over. Yeah, need everyone together to defeat nasty King of Fog. You're right. Damn, was not was not expecting that. No. I mean to be on I mean to be fair, I honestly feel like my point still stands that how I wish it definitely was something more cutscene heavy, more strict to narrative. But hey, like I said before we began this, 
the side quests are strong, and although to be fair, I don't think Gelgos should have been sac sacrificed to a mean of side quests, but dude, that was pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> Wish it would have been voice acted though. Yeah. Not gonna lie. Like Tyreus' quest was. Yeah. And it all came from a kid. <laughs> yes. Weird. So let's so let's set the stage, guys. Kids lead grown ups to die because they can't have their way. Mm-hmm. Oh no. I guess on one final note though, on on what we've just seen, my 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 comparison to Mumcar was kind of on point. Yeah. I'm evil for the sake of be being evil. I don't I don't agree with what one of the heroes says or does or believes and I I take my leave by fall, falling from a high place. And also, Mumcar killed himself. Gelgar pretty much did the same thing. Yeah. I mean again, I think Mumcar was more fleshed out because of his invo involvement in the story and Gelgar we just got to see we got the, we got to see him what, three times? Yeah. The intro, his betrayal, and then that. I mean, just trying to think, how many times did 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 we see Mumka? We saw him, as in like short short wise, we saw him, Colony Nine, then at Pri Prison Island. And... At the end of oh no, that was Zord. Wait, yeah, we did. Yeah, it's it just all depends in what in what you see as a substantial scene, but. Overall, though, that was a pretty solid side quest. Mm-hmm. Anyway, though, with that heavy so the subject covered, let's have another quiet, quiet moment with... Can we have a rain check, please? <laughs> there we go. Tyrea. Do you perchance remember the day that we two first met? I was wondering what you'd come out with. You finally decided to settle some past grudges, have you? Not at all. I just found it quite moving. Though we crossed blades, contended for our very lives, here we are standing shoulder to shoulder, gazing out at our shared ancestral home. <laughs> quite. Getting over all that was a minor miracle. If someone told me a year ago that we'd be doing this, I'd have carved out their spleen for suggesting it. <laughs> Tyrea, about what I said to you before. Yes? Are your doubts allayed? Perhaps. Not all of them. However, my answer to the question you posed is more or less ready. Tell me then. Melia, you are the last high emptier of Imperial blood. Well, yes, that is true. Although, are you not also... Quiet. You must continue the line. You and none other. You are the light, Melia. You must lead us. Gather our people under your banner. I don't think I ought to be there for that. Why, Tyrea? What leads you to say such a thing? The fact is, I was an Inquisitor of the Bionite Order, my very existence prescribed by law. You know what role the Order played in the Imperial family's history. I hardly need to remind you. Tyrea. Understand. I regret none of the deeds I did for you, Maya. But even so, all that I have done in that life lingers on inside me, a burden I can't escape. All I do is cast a deep shadow on your radiance. As the Imperial Line rises to greet a new age, I will contribute nothing. I'd be a hindrance. How can you hate your own self that much? <laughs> if that is the answer you wish to give me, then it would be wrong for me to speak out against it. 
But I will say this, Tyrea. Imperial blood yet runs in your veins too, as does the mixed blood of Ahoms. We are no different. How could we be? At this point, it doesn't mean a damn thing. You're wrong. Stop talking. I told you not to get your hopes up. Can it really be your intention to keep blaming yourself? Why? Why won't you turn your eyes to the future? Is this what your mother would have wanted? How dare you? You didn't know, you mayor. You didn't know my mother. <sighs> Mem mayor! Two of you, stop flap traps. Nay, nay. What are you doing here? That question very irregardable. Nene simply observes sneaky light from hiding. Miss Tyrea, Miss Melia, sister upon fight is counterproductive. What? It's better to hug and make up blinkety snap. If not, Mama Pon roll up sleeves, then everyone's sorry. Quit, quit this clowning. We are not. Incidentally, Nene is older sister Pon, so even in fight with Kino, always make up swifty quick. But, but it's not because Mama Pon scare into submission, okay? Actually, it's what Nene like to call mature attitude. Ugh, just thinking about make old scars and Nene itchy, itchy. But, but anyway, bottom line is fighting is bad. So, now is when please to hug and make up. Go on, say sorry, Sister Pon. What is this thing going on about? Mother, huh? If your mother... If you Maya were here now, looking at us like this, I wonder what she would say. Hey, don't tell me you're taking it seriously. It's spouting nonsense. Not it! Nene is not thing! Nene is Nene! What point is there in talking about it now? There's no way for us to know. She's dead and gone. My apologies, Tyrea. I know you put great faith in her. So I just thought... But it's as you say. I'll admit, I never understood your mother's mind. Even at the very end. <laughs> Yemea's devotion to the Bionite Order was how she honored the Imperial line. And also, how she channeled her woe over our ultimate fate. Her spirit contained no falsehood. I see. Due to the loftiness of her faith, Yemea could be very severe towards both me and herself. I'm sure if she could see me now, Attending at Yumea's side, serving her under exhaustion was my whole life. Yumea's desires were mine as well. What's more, the blood that flows in me is in essence. Tyrea? Yumea's blood and her will, are they really doomed to just cease to be? Would Yumea really, would Mother simply allow this? <laughs> hey, whatever has got into you? Melia, if you may were here, if she saw me, saw us too, here's how she'd rebuke us. If you wish a future for the High Entia, you must do whatever is in your power. Huh? Changing one's way of life means negating your past self. I tried to change myself, and the path I walked until then, I disavowed. The precious path I had walked as Yumea's loyal retainer. Let me be me then, the Empress's, your shadow, and I'll do what's in my power. So then, you will not change your ways but still walk alongside me. Is that correct? 
Yemea, mother, kept me by her side for that purpose. She already showed me the road that I should take. I think I'd like to repay her by putting her will into action. For her, and for the future of the High Entia. I see. So that's the answer you have chosen. I'm glad that is your decision, Tyrea. Hmm. You may be a fitting vessel to inherit the throne, but as a politician, you'll be much too soft for your own good. If you got blinded by pretty ideals and came to ruin, I could never face my mother. No, I'd never be so... Let's face it. You'll need someone to rein you in when you get too blinkered. Frankly, I find the suggestion somewhat offensive. All right. But in that case, I must make a pronouncement too. I, Melia Antiqua, Empress of the High Entia, by my name do solemnly decree. Be thou guardian, for our subjects and the race entire, act the mistress of unseen shadows, and pledge thy very life to this throne. Swear your might to my bidding, Tyrea. I accept. I will honor this commission, your majesty. <laughs> Miss Tyrea, Nene very proud. Managed to apologize very beautiful. Major sister upon vibes. Who, who are you calling sisters? And I'll have you know, I've nothing to apologize for. Ma'am? But, Miss Tyrea, just did proper big bad to Miss Melia, no? You little... Are you actively trying to insult me? Me, me? But I well, have plenty sorry feel. It's just like when Dad upon make apologizes to Mum upon. Whatever. I'm too old for this. The future is within our grasp, sister mine. Dude, can I say <laughs> I love that so freaking much? They used an unused song. <laughs> yeah, for those who don't know, the song the song that you, you just heard, uh, that wasn't an original composition for this, uh, f uh, for this game. It was actually an unused song. One of the very few un um, uh, unused songs in Xenoblade called Hope. Mm -hmm. And... Yeah, I'm so glad that <laughs> it got it it got used. Yeah, me too. <laughs> not only are they not only do uh, do they bring back an un, an un, unused area, just unused content. Oh god, I love it. <laughs> it's a very small thing, but dude, that just put a big a big smile on my face. Mm -hmm. And that's on top of that great heart to heart the we the we that we just saw. Yeah, <laughs> it's closure on Melia and Tyrea, and I do kind of like the twist saying, look. It was my original job to protect the royal family, i.e. the Empress, and might as well do that. It's mm -hmm. just, it's just, but you, you're just lucky that you're the Empress because otherwise I hate you. <laughs> I don't know why, just, oh God, I love it. Yeah. And also, it also, it also draws somewhat comparisons to Dunban as well, saying, look, my old job is done. It's my time to go to the background and, you know, look after, you know, the heroes of now. Mm -hmm. I don't know why, it just... Oh! <laughs> and that's just on the surface level. And also, of course, you could talk about the, you know, the uh, the trope uh, uh, of, like, light and darkness and all that jazz. Melia being the Empress and Tyrea being, like, the politician. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I just love it. Me too. And it all and it all came from you may you may as well of unlikely sources. <laughs> Again, you may have brought them together. How how ironic! I want you to kill your sister, but in the future, can you uh, can you love her as well? <laughs> I don't know. Just oh, oh, it's so good. I mean, I mean, it's probably a lot a lot of other things that you could um, 
draw draw uh, comparisons to describe or 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 uh, discuss on like watching it over and over again in analysis. But dude, just on a surface level, that 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 was fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> They really know how how to turn like small things like hard hearts, hearts from the base game and just turn them into like big great things. Mm -hmm. They put the big things and the great things that are in the original Xenoblade. They stuck to it, and the minor things that you know got pushed to the background, like say like Tyrea, Yumea, and Heart to Heart and all that jazz. They're brought to the forefront. What else can I say? It definitely is a definitive edition of Xenoblade. Yep. <laughs> Everything, more or less, is on equal ground. Except for Juju, he sucks. Yeah. <laughs> I, I can tell you more. Bring more! Just bring more! Ah, Angela, bring Daddy a drink. And quick, I'll build a house. See if I don't. Then we can live there together. We'll make it a home. <laughs> Nadia, I think one of the first things you should address in Alchemy is the is alcohol abuse. Yeah, that's the second person we've met so far that's been drunk. <laughs> well, Nadia does have a lot of work to do, or maybe we can get a, ty a Tyrea. Yeah. Sober up or ship out. <laughs> yeah, she'll slap them silly. <laughs> slap, slap that. You're being generous, honey. <laughs> she'll stab and kick them. Pre in in um, in one area I can imagine. Yeah. <laughs> but on that note, guys, my God, what an episode! Mm -hmm. It wasn't much content-wise, but dude, there's just been there's just been so much to do, discuss, and talk about, and just witness. It's been awesome. <laughs> and I I I use this as a running joke, but every time this happened, I just found myself. Hey, huh? don't push Nene. It's not only about hiding to the fate of every creature alive in this world rests on your shoulders. You must topple the fuck king or else. Could you not push my friend, please? <laughs> but anyway, though, I've said this over. I said I've said this over the uh, the series, and I don't mean to hop, hop on on it. But every single time this happens, I get flower. I get flower I get surprised. I'm dumbfounded. People don't think that this builds and adds more detail and adds more depth to, to the original game <laughs> someone in quoting saying they focus on Melia the most shallow of characters in the original game are you high screw you IGN <laughs> are you high <laughs> but enough rambling because the game speaks for itself and you've probably heard enough out of me so yeah guys on that note thank you so so much for watching and just experiencing this fantastic edition and this in all honesty our commentary aside fantastic episode so yeah guys with that said thank you very much for watching if you like this episode then i really hope you do because this one it really stands out to me mm -hmm. then please be sure to like it and you are awesome if you do and if you didn't like it, well, we know it's a goddamn shame, but you know what? That's fine too. But if you want to subscribe to see more content like this, then be sure to subscribe and and we'll see you next time. In which, nothing else for it. It's time to return home. A second time in this game. Yeah. But but we do have one small thing to uh, to address next episode and we will take care of that when when we get to it. But yeah, that said, guys, thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you soon next time. The sisters are coming home. Let's do it. Mm-hmm.